important enough to hang on, okay? Now, let me just share something with you. You're, I teased you with the be, at the beginning of the show with this, but I've got to tell you this. I was a witness today, a telephone witness, uh, unbeknownst to the other caller, uh, perfectly legal, by the way, uh, to an Obama bot, uh, a self-pronounced important Obama bot, who called Lieutenant Mike Zulo on his personal phone today and talked to him. Let me tell you how this came down, and then we'll tell you kind of what happened. This, this is going to blow you away. So I'm on the phone with Mike Zulo today several times, and one time I was on the phone with him, and he was in a car wash, actually, so he's having to scream over the, <laughs> the car wash thing. But while we were talking, he said, Carl, you're not going to believe this, but, and he named this guy, and I'm not going to give the guy's name, because it's not because I'm afraid to, it's because I don't want to give him any publicity. But he's an Obama bot. He's actually called into this show before, okay? The guy's irrelevant. He's out of his mind, okay? But he called in, and he said, uh, well, actually, I'm on the phone with Mike, and he says, Mike, uh, Carl, he says, this Obama bot is calling me right now. He's got my phone number because I he asked me to be on some little blog radio show he had before, and so he's got my phone number. He said, will you stay on the line and witness this conversation? I said, sure. I said, do you want me to interject? He said, nope, just listen. Just be my witness. I said, I sure will. So I uh, stayed on the line. Mike brought on this Obama bot. The guy calls him up, and he, and he just goes off on Mike. He said, I want to know, is Carl Gallup's a spokesperson for you? Is he your spokesperson? And Mike said, well, and he called him by his uh, initials, and he says, uh, listen, he said, uh, I don't know who you are. He said, if you'll identify yourself, I'll answer some questions. He said, but I'm not doing an interview with you over my phone. And he said, well, I just want to know, is Carl Gallup's a spokesperson for you? And uh, he, said, he said, as I said, I am not going to give you any information until you identify yourself. And then he gave it away. He said, well, I want to know, am I a suspect? Am I a person of interest in this case? See, folks, that's what the whole thing was about. That's, and I'm going to tell you about that in just a moment. And Mike said, again, I'm not divulging any criminal investigation information. And then the, the Obama bot went on to say, well, I'm telling you, we can take that same birth certificate, we can put it in this Xerox copier, and with a couple of pushes of the button, we can reproduce what you have so your whole case is blown. And Mike stopped and he said, wait a minute, couple pushes of the button? No. No. First of all, your little Xerox caper is not going to fly. It's not going to fly. It's all a ruse. It's all a sham. And then Zulo went on to say, and besides, we're not talking about a couple of pushes of a button. We're talking about putting a birth certificate in a machine, pushing the button once to produce it in a digital file to put on the Internet. There's not a machine in the world where you can put it, a birth certificate in there, push the button once, pull out a document, put it on the internet, reproducing all of the anomalies that are on this fraudulent birth certificate that the White House still has posted. Well, the Obama bot went completely ape, started calling Zulo all kind of names, getting ugly, obscene, using profane language. Uh, Zulo was the consummate professional, kept us cool. Uh, you could he hear Zulo kind of raising his voice a few times. But it was because he was in a car wash. I knew that. I don't think the Obama bot did. But, uh, but professional, never cursed, never uh, belittled the guy, never said anything ugly to him, just answered his questions, but basically told him, uh, I'm not going to talk to you unless you identify yourself. He told the Obama bot, said, look, come down to the sheriff's office, identify yourself. I'll put some police, uh, some uniformed officers in there, some investigators. We'll take whatever evidence you have, and we'll, we'll include it in this investigation. We're running a true blue criminal investigation. If it, if it you know, derails our case, so be it. But so far, you guys won't do that. You just hide in the shadows. But isn't it interesting that the question he asked, am I a person of interest? Now, if you'll go to P.P. Simmons, go to carlgallops.com, click on the link in the middle of the page that says P.P. Simmons' latest videos, go about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh video down is entitled, Obama Bots Now Suspects, Obots Going Crazy Over the Obama Fraud Case. There's a P.P. Simmons radio piece that I did there revealing the fact that one of the latest developments in the Arpaio case is that uh, the and I got to be careful what I say here, but the investigation is now pointing to some people of interest who are known Obama bots, and they have been doing deep investigations on these people, and they've discovered some amazing 
ties across this land to some very important people. And that's all I'm going to say right now. Amazing, uh, here before unknown ties. So folks, hang on. This saga is getting really, really deep and interesting. I'm going to bring Zulo on probably next week for a good 30-minute segment. I'll get him to tell you all of this plus the latest updates. But this is getting good. Now you got Obama bots calling up Zulo, wanting to know if I'm speaking fact and then demanding to know if they are persons of interest. You know the old saying we have down here in the South, throw a rock amongst a bunch of dogs, and the one that squeals is the one you hit. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Listen, I'm going to bring on um, one of our calls.